Hi, Cat uh, here with Mr. t Rav, and Brad's over here with Clayton. Today we're going to be working on some leave -its. Now this is a skill that both of these dogs have worked on quite a bit, so we're going to try to advance leave it as much as we possibly can. I'm going to start from the very ah. beginning with him, just because t Rav was, um, he ah. needs a little bit of a refresher on his leave -it before yes. we can expect too much more from him. So I'm just going to have my, my handful of treats right here. I'm going to say, leave it. Yes. And once he moves away, then I'm going to reward. Leave it. How's Clayton doing with that, uh, with his yes. leave -its? Clayton's doing uh, pretty awesome. What I'm doing though, uh, just to uh, kind of build this up uh -huh. right now, is yes. I'm kind of I'm kind of putting myself in between the tree uh, and him. So what I'm doing is I got the street. I say leave it, and then he is a little distracted right now. So, but he is able to give me that sit again. Uh, yes, and give me that focus. So he is able to leave it. He does get a little excited. Um, at the end of the session, I will let him get those treats as a uh, jackpot reward. But here we go. Leave it. Yes, and that time he didn't even get up. He Me saw did? that I threw the treat, and he still was uh, able to maintain that focus. Yes. So what I'm doing now is I'm even going to get it just a little bit closer. Leave it. Leave it. Yes. And essentially, I want to be able to uh, kind of be able to maybe even put a treat down next to him and tell him to uh, leave it. Yes, good. But he's giving me tremendous focus. Leave it. For Mr. T. Rav, uh -huh. um, typically I start uh -huh. my leave it uh -huh. like from the very beginning with a closed uh, hand with treats in them. And I think that's where we're going to stay for just a minute here because uh, he might be just really distracted today, but he uh, is is struggling to, to disengage. So we're going to stay with our closed hand. Leave it. Leave it. And he's chewing my thumb just a little bit. I'm just waiting. Good. Leave yes. It. Good job, T. Rav. Oh, and he's a little too distracted to get his reward. But what I have been doing when I reward is I reward away from the thing that I've asked him to leave to create even more of a muscle memory to move away from the thing that you're leave asking. It. So now I'm going to try the open palm. We'll see how it goes. Leave it. Uh-uh. I'm just going to close it if he tries. T. Rav, leave, leave it. it. Yes. Good. I'll reward for eye contact. Over time, if you really want to shape this and you want your dog to fully move away from the thing, um, start by accepting them just giving you eye contact. And then after a while, when you say leave it, start to leave only it. reward for them like turning their head yes. or taking a step back and sitting. Um, and you can change the criteria as they master these skills. Just make sure that they fully understand what you're asking before you change the criteria. t -Rav. Good. Yes. Very yes. nice. So that time he saw my treat and he did not go for it. You get a couple more treats. Leave it. Leave it. Yes. And um, I noticed that uh, Clayton is struggling more as yes. that uh, pile of uh, treats that I'm asking him to leave um, is building up. Uh, he did pop up a couple times, but leave I simply it. am just using some body blocking. I'm not yes. pushing him or anything like that. I'm simply just stepping in front of uh, that treat that he was trying to get. So for T-Rav, leave it is important it. because he's an adolescent dog. And so impulse yes. control is something that adolescent dogs struggle with probably more than anything else. And so teaching him a really leave good, reliable leave it while he's in this particular phase is going to yes. be so helpful to making sure he doesn't pick up a battery that you drop on the ground, an ibuprofen that falls, a chicken bone on the on the street that he could choke on. Any of those things are uh, a leave it is really, really helpful for. And then Mr. Clayton here just got a baby in the house. Leave and it. I'm sure that there are maybe some baby toys that you don't want him yes. to pick up. Um, Maybe you don't want him to pay too much attention to the baby when he's moving around and playing. So you give Clayton that leave it and, and a good reliable leave it's going to be leave so it. helpful around the house. We're going to go ahead and keep on working on this. Did you have anything you wanted to add? Uh, no, that, that was the All right. cover to <laughs> Great. Um, so go ahead and practice these skills at home and let us know if you hit any walls or need any help. Have a great day. Good job. Clayton free.